Hello, this is Sanat here, and it is January 31st, which means it's time to film new videos. Um, and because next week is the 8th anniversary week, I kind of wanted to show off how I, how I make a video. In fact, it's a process, if you could imagine. Um, I'm going free-handed vlog style for this, because why not? Um, also, this is a camera angle I never use. It's kind of weird. I'm not used to it yet. I'm used to working off tripods, so this is very strange. So, basically my entire process of video making is to think about what I'm doing a video on, and then from there deciding what format I'm going to run it in, and filming it, editing it, putting it online. Um, so step one is filming. So for filming setup here, um, basically I use two pieces of a white foam board. Um, that's the entire review set. Uh, I have it sitting here on this desk which is right here. Um, but yeah, two pieces of foam board I have it taped together. Uh, it's not anything fancy, not anything complicated. It bounces ni nice, light nicely. Uh, things contrast against it very well. I like using the white background. Darker background is trickier with lighting and adjustments. Um, I also have a little uh, a sunshade for a car in the window so I don't get too much light over the top of the set because uh, that'd be very bad. Um, this isn't a tripod by any means, this is just a, uh, I don't know, it's a holder for a poster, it's like a poster standy thing, which I have there. And then my lamp, that I've been using for eight years, and probably could do better with lighting, but uh, for now, this is what I got. If I want to keep affording to buy new toys to review, I'm going to stick with this. Um, probably going to upgrade that at some point, I'd like to get kind of an overhanging light um, with a, like an umbrella type thing. I don't know the exact term. I just want to bounce the light kind of back and forth so it's it's softer on the on the review set. But basically, this is my setup. Um, for Ninja here, I'm reviewing uh, Shuriken, Engine, Bison King, Pound Mara, and UFO Mara in one video, and then everybody else in the other um, because I want to split into two videos. But basically, that's always what it starts with, and that's how we get to this camera angle here, uh, which is stable. Uh, for the most part, pretty stable, and it works out fairly well. Um, I do have some issues. Working off foam board, uh, there's all kinds of chips and dings in this thing from toys falling over. And, uh, yeah, so this thing's getting kind of beat up. So I have to replace this every every few months. Um, as you can see up here, there's, there's dents. Uh, the light kind of negates most of it. So it's like things like this, I have to make sure to film around. Uh, that's the only thing. But yeah, it, it works. Uh, it's simple. That's uh, pretty much all I do with filming. So that's pretty much the filming process. Uh, during the filming process, my room is a mess. Uh, mostly because my Transformer collection. Uh, the display of Transformers I have goes on that review set when the review set isn't there. So during that time, I just have a pile of Transformers on the floor. And because I've been filming for several days trying to get videos done, I've just had that there for days, which is really bad. Um, not to mention the movie Megazord is just hanging around because it goes and sits in front of the lamp. Um, so it's kind of a, it's it's kind of a funny funny situation. Um, but in terms of in terms of reviews, it, it works out well. I use the same chair I'm sitting in. Um, I can just basically turn myself around, and then I can just scoot up and review from there, um, which is pretty handy. So for editing, I use Adobe Premiere Pro uh, CC, uh, Creative Cloud. Um, so here we are. I'm currently running 2017 because I, I managed to update. You can see me in the background. Let's let's turn this brightness down a little bit. Uh, basically, how this goes here is that I usually use multiple layers. Uh, if you're ever curious how the soundcast is put together, um, I record the audio in Adobe Audition and then I put it into Premiere and add the images. And I usually do this like little collage method just because it's a little easier that way. Um, when I was trying to time out images to the video, um, unless it's like super necessary, like for like the toy reveal ones, um, I kind of like to do that. But for this, I just I just layer them on top of each other. Uh, as you can see, I can just kind of take that away. Um, I no Photoshop required for this part. I just stack and uh, position scale. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, usually my project bins are a lot more uh, organized than this. Uh, this is just kind of like here's all the images in place. Um, but yeah, I, I work with this a lot. Uh, in terms of video-wise for toy reviews, so here we have the project file for uh, Dota Kayo. 
Now, uh, the interesting part about this uh, review was how many layers I was dealing with. Um, if you ever saw this video, uh, then you know that there was a transformation sequence in the middle of this. Um, but basically, most of the time, it's pretty straightforward. As you can see, this looks like a nice, clean timeline, right? What I do for the larger mecha reviews is I split up things. So I have different sequences. This is the cube whale sequence. So you can see I got all the layers here for the transformation part. Um, and I use speed duration for the for this part here. So I, I kind of speed that up a little bit off the uh, regular. But you can see it kind of like I just keep everything separate so it doesn't overlap and cut by accident. Um, you get to the combination. Look at this. Look at this, like, madness here. Um, this is basically a lot like Wild Tosai King's transformation. Um, mostly because... When I was doing this part here with, and there's more, by the way, um, that's just the top few layers. I was running with 15 video layers just on this one clip alone. That's because here we had, I think there was a weird file locate error there because it showed whale instead of crocodile. Um, and... I reused this clip from Wild Tosei King uh, because that was the easiest thing. If you're ever doing videos and you're ever doing something fancy with video and you can reuse footage, no problem, do it. Because this took me like two and a half hours to make originally for the Wild Tosei King video and I could just drag and drop that clip in. I didn't have to remake it. Um, and then I was able to, and syncing this up, uh, every single cube is a different clip. Um, which is why there's so many of these parts down here. Uh, and this was a split screen so for time. And this was a separate clip. And that was the end, end of that. And then the actual review part for Wild Tosa King is, is here, uh, which was just sticking a couple clips together. And everything's brought together with the end card, uh, which the end card's all mine. I make in After Effects. Uh, I found it a lot easier to make a cool, like here I got the moving background. Um, but I make those in After Effects, and that's pretty much where I get all of that from. And then everything else is done, like the thumbnails are done for Photoshop. This is just simple position keyframes to get things to move across like that. Um, the thing is, is that it's taken me so long to develop this editing style, um, and I'm really comfortable with it now, which is why I've been putting out more videos lately. Because uh, I was just trying to figure out what I was doing. Um, this program has so much you can do in it that uh, it makes it insane. And speaking of insanity, don't do what I've done. Uh, if you're editing and you have the option to make bends like this, and you can just be like, whale, you can sort your clips a lot better. So like, cube whale can just go into that whale bin like that. So that way you can just kind of collapse things. I just have this as just this giant list of stuff. Um, it works for me because I filmed the video, I know what's going on. Um, if this was something I hadn't filmed and I was just editing it, then I definitely wouldn't have done that. Um, but that's basically how I run editing. Um, it's also how I look in a computer screen. Uh, but that that's the basic final process. Um, for everything else, I use uh, Adobe Media Encoder, so I can keep editing another video while I'm editing uh, like when I'm encoding one, I can edit another. Uh, so media encoder is really great for that. And then when I get to YouTube, uh, we'll go over to YouTube because you know what? Let's go to YouTube. That way I have a video on YouTube about uploading to YouTube. Uh, for me personally, I definitely recommend, um, like this is, this is for me personally. I don't usually go unlisted public or private. I go straight to scheduled. Um, and then change it to public later if I need it to come out sooner. I like scheduling things in advance so that they're coming out at a consistent time. Um, but sometimes I just put it up public like the Megas the movie Megas review just went out the second it was done. Um, but basically, like in the video manager, you can see I have uploaded 733 videos. Not all of those are public. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see. Like I got I got I got some stuff here. Um, there's a uh, Legion of Collectors unboxing. I'm going to link that in the description of this video uh, if you guys want to check that out. It's not anything I published, it's just it's just there. Um, but yeah, that's basically how YouTube works out for me. Um, 
I always check comments, so I always appreciate comments you guys leave. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if anyone's ever curious how I throw together an end card, um, the end screen button here is pretty handy. I didn't actually do that. Did I do that for this video? Let's find out. Um, no, I did not. The end card, uh, usually I have one spaced out. This Yu-Gi-Oh video I didn't. Um, so let me go to the one I actually did, um, which would be Geodra. Which, by the way, there's a lot of Geodra videos that I put out in a row. Um, but basically, you can see, let's turn the preview on. So we got these different elements here. So this is a subscribe button. This is previous video. And these are just added by hitting add element video or play playlist and you like choose one. So I usually try to link like the playlist in the video. Um, but yeah, that's basically the uh, making of a sound out 12 video uh, in less than 10 minutes. Um, it takes so many hours. Uh, filming takes like an hour for any video I do pretty much because I'm trying different camera angles and setups. It's not just running as one video. And then editing can take a couple hours if I'm doing stuff like this madness that I did. Um, and then uploading takes forever because Comcast keeps cutting my internet speed. So, you know, what can you do? Uh, that's pretty much it for this uh, this little vlog. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you enjoyed this, let me know. I uh, pretty much just wanted to do something different for once. Uh, this whole 8th anniversary week was designed to be different. Uh, I've been doing toy reviews for eight years, and it's nice to kind of change up the format. Um, so I may suck at vlogging. We'll see how this actually turns out in the editing. But until uh, next time, this is not saying goodbye.